Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is still the 25th of April. It is Monday, 2022. A uh, couple things real quick to remind you of. I will be live streaming for hardcore members only uh, tonight at 8 p.m. If you are interested, you go to my main page on uh, YouTube here, you hit the join button, you become a hardcore member, and you can join us in that chat. Now if you're looking over here, doesn't that look nice? Looks pretty good, right? Now we're going to turn around. <laughs> now we're going to turn around. We're going to look at it this way. That don't look so inviting. No, it doesn't. Uh, we got rain coming. We had a little bit of rain earlier today, and they said we got more rain coming. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, too funny. Uh, so real quick, guys, before we jump into this video, and I think this will be an interesting topic. I think hopefully you're going to like it. But uh, before we do, I want to talk about Deloma. Deloma Health with their immune system defense. Uh, they have 8-in-1 immune supporter, okay, vitamin C, echinacea, termac, zinc, vitamin D3, elderberry, ginger, and garlic. 60 tablets in a bottle. Uh, you take two tablets a day, and it helps to uh, boost your immune system. What I like about this company, a couple things. It is made in the United States of America. It's an American company. Uh, we need to be supporting American companies. Your immunity uh, is important, obviously, with everything going on t t you know, today uh, to be able to have something that you can, uh, you can work with for your immune health. And uh, they are a really solid company. Uh, all the products of these, this medication is made in the United States. Nothing is from overseas, okay? So uh, if you want to support an American company, this is one to do it. Also boost your immune health, uh, especially with everything going on and all the different viruses that we have happening. Uh, it's important that we take care of ourselves. Now, if you see the link in the description, you will see that link for Deloma Health. Uh, PN1. If you use that link, you'll save 10% on your purchase by going over there. You can also save another 10% when you are there if you sign up to have it delivered to you monthly. Your choice, obviously, but just giving you your options. Uh, again, I think it's a good thing to have, uh, especially SHTF happens. We're not going to be getting the nutrition like we get now. Uh, you know, because the food is just not going to be there. So having something that's going to help boost your immune system, I think is really important. All right, so having said that, let's get into this video, guys. How does what happens to China affect us? So obviously, as you know, right now, there is a tremendous amount of lockdowns happening right now in China. Um, this freaking cat, she is just too cute. She is too cute. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of lockdowns happening right now in China. And so how does that, what bearing, what effect does that have on us in the United States? Once again, we are a consumer country now. We are not a manufacturing company or country. China is a manufacturing company. When you have portions of China that are having major issues, uh, it's going to affect everything overall. It's going to affect their production, their output, all those type of things. So that's something that we really need to be paying attention to because uh, it makes a difference. I was going to show you this real quick too before we go any further. These two here are plum trees, guys, and they're already blossoming. So the plum trees are blossoming here, which is kind of neat. Uh, those two at the end are peach. These are a couple of dead cherries. <laughs> uh, these are two live cherry trees. So, But uh, anyway, um, going back to China, because we are no longer a manufacturing company, or country, I'm sorry, it, it definitely makes a difference when it comes to importing goods and all that type of stuff. Because unfortunately, we have gotten away from that. They have shipped uh, a lot of the production of things overseas because it was cheaper. We need to bring it back. Now, I had somebody in the comments was like, well, you know, would you want to pay a whole lot more for products and yada, yada, yada? Well, yeah, I'll tell you what, guys. If they made products like they used to make products products in the United States where you buy it and it lasts for a really long time, yeah, I would be happy to pay more. Because what would happen is if we built things right the way that they're supposed to be built, they're going to last a lifetime. That you don't have to go buying it 
every three, four years because the crap breaks down and it's made like garbage. I mean, that's something that I think people need to think about as well because that is definitely something that's going to affect everything overall. With those type of things, you can see now, I mean, it's, it's really pretty over there. I mean, like, it doesn't look bad. <laughs> and then it just, as you turn, it's coming. We're definitely got rain coming. Wind starting to pick up there. You can see the trees starting to move more. So the lockdowns in China that they're doing right now, um, and how, who knows how bad it really is, because I, I saw a thing, that it, uh, an article, and it was showing a station where they were testing citizens. And so they were like, and dozens of people were testing positive. So, you know, dozens. Sure, it's, I'm sure it's only dozens. You know, because China, you know, they, they've got a handle on this, right? Uh, crazy. Absolutely crazy. Supposedly, things are getting worse again. Uh, do Will there be more lockdowns coming? I know a lot of people have asked me that. I would not be surprised. I'm not going to say yes for sure that they're coming. I would hope that they're not. But it would it surprise me if they did? Not at all. Um, not at all. Uh, you know, with the, the way that they try to do things, it'll be interesting to see how things play out moving forward. I would encourage you guys to get your houses in order. If there is a huge disruption in the supply chain, and basically what is the supply chain, right? China builds it, we buy it, uh, and that happens a lot. Go in your houses. I want you to do this, folks. little test. little test for you. Go in your house. Start looking at the different things that you have in your home. Where is it made? So let's do a little test right now. Here's this little cute thing here. Let's see if it has a thing on here of where it's made. Hold on a second, let me see if I can't find out. Uh, I can't tell on this one, but we'll look at this other one. We'll look at the frog. We'll see if we can see that on here. Maybe we can. Um, Nope, I'm not seeing nothing on the bottom of the frog either. Sure, it's killing my point here. <laughs> All right, we'll look at one of the gnomes. Here we go. Okay, where is he made? Made in China, right? <laughs> Finally got one. The other two I just can't tell. Would it shock me if they were made in China? Nope, not at all. Uh, let's see. I don't know where that one doesn't have anything. I want you to go in your houses, look through your stuff. Yeah, a lot of these don't have stickers on them anymore. Uh, look at your stuff. Then you're going to find out where things are made. Yeah, here's another one. Made in China. So that other one had the same kind of sticker, the first one. I just couldn't read it. So that first one that I pulled over here, uh, the this one right there had that same kind of sticker. So obviously that's going to be made in China as well. This one doesn't have a sticker on it. Heather got that for me uh, a couple years ago for my birthday. So I like that one. But even these little decorative things that we have, uh, most of them, here it is, another one. I don't know if you guys can see that, made in China. So this lovely little frog, made in China. Let's see about this gnome. Uh, let's see. Made in China. Right there on the bottom. So there's another one. So pretty much, guys, if you look in your houses, you're going to see the majority of your stuff that you have in your house is made in China. Um, again, we need to bring manufacturing back to the United States. I think it's really, really important that we do so. And uh, we need to get on that. And it's just, uh, well, it, you know, if we get cut off, let's talk about that for a second. If we got cut off from imports of things, would it hurt for a while? Absolutely. It would absolutely hurt for a while. But you know what? We are a great country, and we would overcome it. We would adapt. 
uh, you know, like I said, short period of time, we would be hurting big time because we are so reliant on countries like China and India and all those other places where so much crap is made uh, because it's not made here. But we would get on it really pretty quickly, I think, uh, because Americans are resilient. And uh, I think you would see, hey, baby girl, what you doing? Well, come and show, show everybody. We've got to show them a new tattoo on the leg now that she has her this shorts is, on. This is a tattoo I got for him because I like him a little bit. Yeah, so what, what the, the significance of the lamp, guys, with the candle. Uh, Heather and I do this thing whenever we go out and eat something. We take the straws and we do a wrapper, straw wrappers, and turn that into a candle. And that's our candle. And that's been our thing for a long time. Yeah, I make the base, I roll it up, and he makes the flame by kind of scrunching it, and we put it on top of each other. Right, and so that's our candle. So uh, we had talked about getting tattoos, not matching, because I'm not going to get something that's matching hers, but mine will be different. But, uh, it will also be a candle for you. But it will be a candle, yes. So I wanted a kind of cool thematic piece, and he also collects lanterns. And I do collect thing. lanterns, yep. The flowers here are sweet peas because that's what he called me all the time growing up. Yep, she was my sweet pea. So, I'll yeah. see, I like him just a little bit. I got a whole freaking leg portrait. <laughs> yep, so that's the tattoo that she got. And then you got your other one on the other yeah, one. This is a snake, and then I'll show this one. This is one I have matching with my aunt and yep. her uh, daughter. Yep, her cousin. so. So, yep. Okay. All right, we'll go visit. Um, I'll, I'll get the puppies in after. Never mind. All right, guys. So I want to hear your feedback. Do you think, number one, uh, a couple questions for you all. Do you think we should be more self-reliant, um, not relying on other countries for our products that we are using on a day-to-day -day basis? I think it's a dangerous precedent doing such a thing because, you again, you're relying on somebody else to take care of you. Uh, if we get back to uh, the aspect of being self-sufficient, uh, making our own products, I think we would be much, much better off. And make quality products, not crap. I think that's another thing that's important. So uh, I definitely want to hear your feedback on that. Uh, do you think what happens over in China affects us here in the United States? Or what happens elsewhere in the world? Does it affect us here? Uh, I think everything has a effect to some degree or other um, on everything that goes on. So uh, that's just my take on it. And, uh, you know, again, if we can get back to being self-sufficient as a country, become a producer again instead of a consumer, I think we would be much, much better off. So really quickly before I jump off here, I'm going to talk about my legacy freeze-dried food sale. That will be ending as of the 30th. If you go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com, you click on Store, you, it will drop down, you will see Legacy Foods. If you click on that, it will take you to the store within the website. May 1st, all the Legacy Foods freeze-dried food prices are going up. So before that happens, I'm doing a 20% off sale, and so definitely take advantage of that. Um, it, the, the discount code is Spring Sale 2022 So uh, definitely look at doing that. And, uh, you know, save yourself 20% here before the end of the month. Freeze-dried food is a great thing to have in your long-term preps. So, man, it just looks... I love to watch a storm coming in just because I think it's beautiful. And I love a good rainstorm anyway. So I think that's kind of a neat thing too. But uh, it's definitely coming. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. I hope everybody's doing great. Remember... We are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we are going to be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important to tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, Whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? Have a great day, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now. Okay, hold on. i got to, I got to show you this. Look at the winds coming in now. This storm is coming in. So now from the beginning, we had a nice, pretty bluish sky over here. Yeah, <laughs> not anymore. Won't be long. 
So I got to get these puppies in the house too. All right, guys. I will see you all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.